guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make agadashi tofu. Brace yourselves for the world's greatest tofu recipe from a previous tofu hater. So I hope you enjoy, and it's hosted by the lovely Jesse Sage. The dashi granules that I show here, I actually don't recommend because they have MSG, but you should be able to find some without MSG at your oriental store. I know that I use teriyaki sauce here, but do as I say, not as I do. I was just out of soy sauce, and the main ingredient in teriyaki is soy sauce, so I just improvised. All right, so set that on about level three so it can simmer while you cook the rest of your tofu. Yay, tofu block. Pretty much the easiest thing to cut in the entire world because it's so soft. That's why you want to make sure that you get extra firm tofu because anything less than that is going to fall apart. And with the sauce, it's really dependent on taste, so if you want it to be fishier, add more of the dashi. Um, I usually don't add too much soy sauce because the dashi contains a very salty flavor anyway. If you want it sweeter, add more mirin. So this is something that I'm definitely tasting as I go along and I'm grabbing somebody who's walking through the kitchen and saying, here, taste this. This part you have to do very, very gently. You can also just dip it into a bowl if you like, but just gently, gently roll it around. Make sure they're all evenly coated. You can add more flour if you need to, or starch, depending on what you're using. It looks like Turkish delight, doesn't it? Make sure your green onions are chopped and ready to go, because you're gonna just, once it gets done, you wanna eat it once it's really hot. So get your green onions ready. So you want to get your oil pretty hot, you want to have it on medium to high, and then I just took a couple of little tiny pieces, threw them in just to test it out, because you want it hot enough that as soon as you set the tofu in, it sort of sears the outside, because you don't want it to be just like a greasy mess, so make sure it's hot enough before you add your tofu. Let them cook about two minutes on each side, and then turn them. So you want them to just have this beautiful, crispy, golden brown look. And then go ahead and lift them out and put them onto a paper towel so the excess oil can get blotted up. Oh my gosh, this is making me so hungry just recording this voiceover. <laughs> Pat it off, just get all the excess oil. It's not much coming off as you can see. Pour your sauce over and add your green onions. You can also add bonito flakes, which you can get at your oriental store if you have any, or some grated daikon radish or ginger. All right, so we're gonna go get it. Oh, yeah, give me that. Um, so this was one of the, the first things. 